there guys and welcome back to Tax TV. Thank you for joining us. Have a happy Monday to you all. Uh, it's not been a bad Monday today actually. Uh, got a few things done. Weather stayed fairly decent. So not too bad. Uh, so we're back with transfers and rumours on this fine Monday. Of course, before we get talking about any transfers and rumours, make sure you drop a like on the video and hit the subscribe button if you are fresh and new to Tax TV and hit the notification bell so you're not missing out on any of the latest uh, content that we are uh, producing. It's not long at all now till the season does start. It isn't long at all. Uh, we've got the first game against Nottingham Forest uh, in the uh, League Cup coming up on Saturday, so we'll have videos uh, previewing that and everything like that. But in this one, it's transfers and rumours. We're going to talk about the big rumour across what's escalating around on a lot of Barnsley forums and a lot on social media, and that is Doncaster Rovers captain uh, Ben Whiteman, who's been heavily linked with a move to the Championship. Not necessarily just with us, but with other clubs as well. I've, I've also seen Blackburn Rovers are also interested in getting um, Ben Whiteman on board. Now, he's been described as a box-to-box -box midfielder, uh, number eight, club captain of Doncaster Rovers, uh, at 24 years of age as well, which is, you know, really, really um, decent. And you can see why there's clubs looking at this lad, you know, very highly rated in the championship, in the in League One uh, for Doncaster Rovers. Now, under Darren Moore, you know, they've, they've from what I've gathered, they've turned down uh, a bid from ourselves. Um, I mentioned, I touched on it yesterday, you look at Peterborough, they you know, they managed to get so much for Ivan Tony, so I think this is going to really, really affect other clubs uh, purchasing these players from the lower leagues now. They, they, these lower league clubs are going to uh, hold on for what they can do, and obviously we're not going to be able to match that that, that sort of money. Uh, I've heard, you know, they value him at maybe, definitely in the millions, let's put it that way. I don't know if a, a full-on target, a, a concrete target, what they do uh, value him at, but... Uh, what I want to say is obviously the with us now the seasons among us you know I'm not saying go out and spend money that we haven't got but um, if we do rate this kid and we do want to bring him in and he's definitely going to be a starter he's definitely going to influence the uh, the starting eleven then uh, we need to try all as best to get him not do what we did with Lyndon Dyke then it drag on and on and on and eventually you know not willing to go that one bit further to get the, get him and unfortunately lose out. So I want to see us at least try, we need to try now, you know, the two players and one of them we already had really, Killian Ludwig. So we've realistically only, and, it, and that's only loan, so it, realistically we've only signed one player. So for me, 100% need to get try and get this lad tied down uh, and it will be one hell of a signing by the way as well. Um, yeah, made 33 appearances for Doncaster Rovers last season. Uh, with a total of five goals and one a, uh, assist, uh, he got a range of good passing in him, uh, which is something you know that we not we we did miss last season. The passing, um, uh, given, given the captain's armband in uh, the summer of two thousand and nineteen. Uh, and, and they always say, you know, you know 24, you know, for, to be a club captain, the captain of Doncaster, you know, it's a very big achievement for him, uh, that, and it shows the, the, what what kind of guy and what kind of influence he'll be if he did come to us. Uh, he was a former Manchester United youngster as well, for anyone who's, uh, who's interested. Uh, he signed on a six-month loan um, from South Yorkshire rivals Sheffield United in 2017-18 season uh, and made the move permanent in the January transfer window. Uh, so there's a lot to go on this guy and, and it's been rumoured for the last few weeks rumours saying yeah he's, he's, he's agreed and everything like that we obviously don't know on the outside but on the inside there's, there's definitely something going on that hopefully in the next few days and I did say in yesterday's video I wanted to see a signing at least this week uh, and even still I think we needed a, a couple more another, another out and out striker who knows where the back of the net is um, another defender as well uh, so there's definitely players out there that um, we we are, I'm sure we are looking at in other areas as well, but uh, Whiteman, it, but it seems to be the, this guy the main target, and and a lot of people wondering why we left that number eight spot available when the uh, they announced the squad numbers. So maybe this could also lead the way, and I think it does. Not might not be Whiteman in the end, but I think definitely leaving that number eight spot uh, open shows that there's definitely going to be somebody coming in to, to take that spot. 
Uh, and I hope it is Ben Whiteman. I really, really do because I've watched him for Doncaster Rovers. He's very, very good. Good midfielder. All round midfielder, really. Um, and, you know, that is something we need at the football club, um, especially we're letting the likes of Kenny Dougal go. Uh, players like that so for me no brainer hopefully we can get a deal done hopefully it's soon I want to see a deal done this week I really really do uh, going into Nottingham Forest because we touch on that they need that time to be able to gel with the teammates get to know each other uh, and when it's signing you know like Brad Potts when he came in like a day before Bristol City and they were thrown in it was such a shambles that game you know that's when we need uh, you need that so they can bond with each other in training it all helps it really really does uh, so that's about it really then guys uh, obviously get your comments in on the comment section and i will look at them i'll uh, i'll read them i always do uh, what you think to this one and if you if you've heard anything if you've heard it's close or whatever like anything like that and and yeah that's pretty much everything we've we've got for today so once again guys thank you for watching make sure you drop a like once again on the video subscribe if you could please and i will see you in the next one and let's hope there's some signings this week so once again guys thank you for watching all the best you reds